comprehensive guide. Windows Hello for Business, WHFB, offers multi-factor authentication, MFA, on Windows devices through various methods such as PIN, biometrics, face, fingerprint, or FIDO2 security keys. This guide will walk you through configuring WHFB at both the tenant and group levels, allowing for a more tailored approach depending on your organizational needs. Shashed overview of configuration methods. WHFB can be configured either at a tenant level using the device enrollment enrollment menu or at a more granular level via the settings catalog. We will cover both methods beginning with the tenant level configuration. It's important to note that the settings catalog approach is recommended as it offers more flexibility and customization options. Configuring Windows Hello for Business at the tenant level. To start, we'll look at enabling WHFB using the graphical user interface. 1. Navigate to Devices. Go to Devices, Enrollment, Windows tab, then click on Windows Hello for Business. This will open a flyout window where you can configure various WHFB settings, including the options to configure Windows Hello for Business and use security keys for sign-in. 2. Enable WHFB. Change the Configure Windows Hello for Business setting from Not Configured to Enabled. This will reveal additional settings that can be customized. 3. Require TPM. Since TPM is mandatory for Windows 11, it is advisable to require TPM for WHFB as well. 4. Customize character requirements. You can set policies for character requirements, including lowercase, uppercase, and special characters. These options can be set to not allowed, allowed, or required, depending on your security needs. 5. Set PIN policies. Configure the PIN expiry time and define how many previous PINs are remembered before reuse is allowed. This balance ensures a secure PIN setup without making it overly complex for users, which could lead to them writing down their PINs, a potential security risk. Note, the PIN is device specific and does not work across multiple devices unless configured similarly for each. It also does not work for Microsoft 365 apps directly unless using single sign-on, SSO. 6. Biometric authentication. Enable biometric authentication options, such as facial recognition or fingerprint scanning. Remember, a PIN is still required as a fallback recovery option. 7. Enable anti-spoofing. For added security, enable anti-spoofing if supported by your device's camera. This feature adds another layer of protection when using facial recognition. 8. Allow phone sign-in. Permit users to sign in using a supported mobile application, such as Microsoft Authenticator, as an additional authentication method. 9. Use security keys for sign-on. Enable the use of FIDO2 authentication keys for device login. 10. 10. Save your configuration. After configuring all settings, click Save. Configuring WHFB at the group level. In some scenarios, you may only want specific user groups to use WHB. If tenant level settings are too broad for your requirements, you can configure WHFB using the settings catalog for more granular control. One, access the settings catalog, navigate to devices, windows, configuration profiles, click plus create, then select new policy. Two, select platform and profile type. Choose Windows 10 and later and select Settings Catalog before clicking Create. 3. Define profile name and description. Provide a name and description for your new policy, then click Next. Four, add settings for WHFB, click add settings, and locate Windows Hello for Business towards the bottom of the category list. 
Choose settings relevant to your environment, such as enhanced anti-spoofing for facial recognition. Tip, you can mix tenant level settings with settings catalog policies to add additional features or settings not available at the tenant level. Be mindful of potential conflicts. Five, complete the configuration. Once you've selected and configured your desired settings, click next. Six, set scope tags. On the scope tags page, click next. Seven, assign the policy. Assign the policy according to your environment's requirements. Remember, settings catalog policies can be duplicated to create similar policies quickly. Eight, review and create. Review your settings and click Create to finalize the policy. Conclusion By following this guide, you can effectively configure Windows Hello for Business either at a tenant or group level, depending on your organization's needs.